Okay, this is Lex at Max Future, and I'm going to come up with a really good tip for you uh, with Apple's Siri shortcuts. So you can use Siri shortcuts to put your Mac to sleep, but you could also use Siri shortcuts to wake up your Mac on your home network. And this could be very handy. You know, sometimes you want to wake up your Mac, you might be across the room. And, you know, maybe what's going on is you're using a little Mac mini as a server uh, or, a, you know, to show stuff on your TV and you want to wake it up and you want it to go to sleep. Well, you can just do it with Siri shortcuts. So here's a demonstration of me actually doing it with Siri shortcuts. Hey, Siri, Mac sleep. Hey Siri, Mac wake. Just a moment. That's done. Hey Siri, Mac sleep. Okay. Hey Siri, Mac wake. I'm on it. Hey Siri, Mac sleep. So if you've never created a shortcut on your iPhone, there's a program called Shortcuts and you want to go there and you want to create an action, okay? And you're going to give the action a name. And so I'm going to give it like, you know, Mac Sleep or Mac Wake OK, since I already have created one. Anyway, so you go in there and then once you create the action, you, within it, pick other actions you want to do, right? So that's just the name of the action. So if you search for SSH, that's what you want to do. You'll get something called run script over SSH and just pick that. And that's really all you need to set up this shortcut. And what you're going to do is you're going to look up your max IP address on your local router and you need to go into your Mac and make sure it allows an SSH connection. So that's gonna be key. And so then you put in the IP address and you wanna pick port 22. Here my IP address is 192.168.86.27. And then you wanna put in your username for your Mac account, Macintosh account, and your password. And th that's the key part but there is a special sauce. So both for the sleep action and for the wake up action of the Mac, you're gonna um, put in this address that you've, you, know, you found for your IP for your Mac. Now you'll find that IP address like on your router. Like I have Google Wi-Fi and I can tell in Google Wi-Fi where my, um, you know, what my IP address is for my Mac. But there's also ways to look it up on the Mac itself. So the key is after you set up your password for your Mac, underneath that, you're going to put in a command. You're going to put in PM set space sleep, um, sleep now. Okay. And that is basically a terminal command for your Mac. So when you SSH into it, it's gonna send this command to the terminal for your Mac, and the terminal allows you to do all sorts of stuff with the Mac. So, but the command is PM set sleep now. And you know, you can test it on your terminal app on the Mac, but basically through SSH, you're connecting on your uh, network uh, to your Mac and putting it to sleep. So that's the, I was doing other stuff before using like, um, you know, other commands um, and apps to put the Mac to sleep, but I found this to be the quickest and most efficient way to put it to sleep. Now to wake up your Mac, just duplicate that shortcut, but instead of PM set, um, PM set sleep now, you're going to instead put a different terminal command uh, that is caffeinate 
followed by these uh, other commands, uh, minus u, minus t5. So minus u means like the, I guess the user is going to see the screen and it's not going to go to sleep. And minus t5 means for, I guess, at least five seconds. Uh, so I guess that wakes it up. So anyways, this command seems to work. So check it out and I'll show you again how it worked for me. Okay, so on your Mac, you want to go into your settings to make sure you'll be able to connect from your iPhone SSHing. And you want to go into your Mac settings and pick sharing and making sure a remote login is checked off. Uh, and then I made it so that only myself username can connect in. That's better for security so other people can't SSH. And then you would have to use your computer's name and login uh, to get in. So that's a key setting that you have to uh, make sure is on on your Mac to have this shortcut on your iPhone work. The other thing you want to do when you're on your Mac, an easy way to get that IP address I was telling you about, in settings, go to network and select Ethernet to see the IP address. So here I've selected Ethernet, and that's because the SSH command if, uh, is going to wake up your computer and go to terminal uh, through Ethernet because basically the Ethernet cable can wake it up. So you want to make sure your Mac is connected by Ethernet to the router. Now, um, you know, that's, I, th th that's the way it's working for me. So there are ways if you don't want to run Ethernet all around the house is you can get one of these mesh routers like Google Wi-Fi and that you can put like a branch of that router like in another room and have an Ethernet cable come out and connect to your Mac and I, I believe that'll work too. And here's the video again. I say, hey, and I'm not going to say it because it's going to actually trigger. Um, I'm going to say, hey, so-so, you know, Mac sleep, and it puts it to sleep. Hey, so-so, Mac wake, and it's going to wake it up. And hey, so-so, Mac sleep. You get the idea. It works. And the key is what's going on is over this protocol that's long been around, SSH, it's communicating through the Ethernet, to your Mac on your local network and basically telling the terminal to run that command. And that's how you're waking it up and how you're sleeping. So I hope you enjoy this video and please subscribe.